Hey guys, welcome back to Kay's Place. So if you caught my Dollar Tree haul, you'll know that I've been absent because I had a stomach bug. So I am back, sorry about my absence. So I hope everybody's doing great. Um, so as you could tell from the title of the video, I have a, well, rather not so small, Michael's and Tuesday morning haul for you guys. So, um, I was really sad that I missed the great 20% off that they had on Monday, but um, we had a meeting to go to, and then I was like, oh, that's okay, they'll have another one, and then they had another great coupon, and mm, I was in bed sick. This is so sad. So, let me show you guys what I picked up from Michael's today and from Tuesday morning. So, doing some Valentine's Day stuff. I will, I'll get the biggest portion of what's in my bag out of the way first. As many of you know, if you've watched my channel before, my husband is a huge rubber ducky fan. And he was shopping with me today because I'm still not feeling my best. So he went with me today. And we found some rubber duckies at Michael's on sale. So he got a blue rubber ducky. And think this would be classified as a magenta rubber ducky with a blue beak. And a lavender rubber ducky. We have a hoe. I will have to take a picture sometime. At the end of this video, I will insert pictures of our rubber duckies so you can see all of our rubber duckies. <laughs> and we have a light lavender rubber ducky with a, well, I guess he's kind of a pinkish rubber ducky with a purple bill. And is that all the rubber ducky? Oh, no. There's a red rubber ducky with a white bill. And last week, I hauled the rubber ducky for him that, or earlier this week, it might have been Monday, that was white with I love you sweethearts all over it, conversation hearts all over it. <laughs> so, yeah, we have lots of rubber ducks around our house. So, then, they had some of their paper doilies on clearance. And I picked up some more paper doilies. I got some of the mint green ones. They were 50 in a pack and they were $1.99. And then I picked up this pretty light pink color, kind of a dusty rose color thing. I hope those weren't bad. And then I picked up a few Valentine's Day stickers, not many. Um, I picked up the mason jars. I love the mason jars. I love that look, that kind of country craft look. So I picked those up. And then I picked up these puffy and clear release stickers. It says, I don't know you. Donut, donut, you know I love you. You melt my heart and you bake me crazy. Oh, those are so cute. And then I picked up these foam and felt stickers that say, love you lots and super sweet. Of these foam stickers that are donuts and cupcakes. I think that's what all they are. Donuts. I think they're just donuts, cupcakes, and maybe like cookies or something. But I thought they would be cute in combination with the super sweet um, to do um, cards with. Those would be really cute together. So pick those up. And then I picked up some dyes. As many of you know, I've got three dogs. I've got two Chiwinis and a Chihuahua. And they had their stamps and dyes on sale for Valentine's Day. And they had this adorable little doggy set on sale. And that looks like our puppy Bailey. And that looks a lot like my, my adult Chihuahua, Lexi. So we picked up that set right there. And then, I would not have considered the Sussex set to be Valentine's Day, but apparently Michael's does. So, this is actually the Sussex Framelits with Stamps set by Lori Whitlock. And this was actually on sale, so I went ahead and picked that up. And it's got the Happy Birthday, Love, Hello, Thanks, and Congrats stamps with it. So, I thought that was a pretty good deal for what it was. And then I picked up some 
combo liquid mono liquid glue. And I decided that I didn't really need any 12 by 12 Valentine's Day paper, but that making some cards for Valentine's Day, I might need some six by sixes. So I picked up one six by six pad, and this is just the Valentine's Day, just Valentine's Day. That's all it says. You and me. That's what this one is. I'm sure all of you guys have seen these. So I just picked that one up. I thought that one was kind of cute. I think I missed that one in the mix. So I'll just pick that one up. And then as I was leaving, I saw that they had their 12 by 12 pads that were regular at $19.99 on sale for $10. So I went ahead and I needed some glitter paper. So I went ahead and picked up the Signature Special Brights glitter pad. So it's just this one with the purples and blues and yellows and greens in it. I like Michael's glitter paper because it doesn't transfer. And then I also went ahead and up their signature special paper pad in the glitters that are the pastels. So I went ahead and picked those up. So that was what I present my bills. And then we had to run over to Tuesday morning to pick up some egg noodles for the hubby. And so I picked those up and then like I said I wasn't gonna buy any paper packs for Valentine's Day, but I did find some kits that I thought were really cute from Tuesday morning. So I found this be mine kit by echo park and it's got 12 12 by 12 double sided papers including the cover and a 12 by 12 element sticker sheet so, and that's what that looks like here are all the papers and then this is what the sticker sheet on the back looks like so it's kind of got a Paris theme. And the Q number on that for Tuesday morning is 1902623. And then I found this one. And this one is Love Story by Lori Whitlock from Echo Park. And it also has 12, 12 by 12 double sided papers including the cover sheet and 12 element stickers. So that's what the papers look like. And then there's the sticker sheet that goes with it. And that number for that one is 1902622. So I thought that one was really cute as well. And then I was looking for some spring paper. I was actually looking for some Easter paper. Didn't find any Easter, but I found some really cute spring stuff. I found Spring by Alicia Whitcomb, and it's an Echo Park kit. And it also has the 12 12 by 12 double sided and the 12 by 12 element sticker sheet. And there's what those papers look like. And then there's the sticker sheet that goes with it. And that number is 1902625. And then I found Springtime, which is also by Echo Park, which contains the 12 by 12 and the 12 by 12 element sheet. And then there are those papers. And there's the sticker sheet for that one. And that number is 1902626. So, 
Those are pretty decent finds. And then I found a really cute pack of Valentine's Day stickers by Me and My Big Ideas, which is a Mambi brand. And there those are. And those are really cute. And then I found some Graphic 45. This is the Cafe Parisian collection. And they're just some chipboard embellishments. And I had picked up some stamps that kind of go along with this um, a while back. So I was really happy to kind of pick up the chipboard pieces that kind of went along with the stamps that I had picked up a while back. I really thought they were cute. And I found some die cut cardstock shapes by American Crafts. And these are kind of springtime themed. They kind of have a springtime feel to them. They're a lot, they're florals for the most part. There those are. And the number for those is 189-1087. I didn't give you the one for the stickers or the if you wanted the one for the stickers, it was one eight seven seven eight four six and the chipboard pieces is one nine one one two six five. And then I found some die cuts by Momenta. They're cut and emboss pieces by Sizzix. It says it's compatible with Sizzix, Cuddlebug, and Spellbinders. It's a six-piece set. And it says Happy Campers. And it's got a TP, a sun, an arrow, and a heart. Which I thought you can use those for lots of different things. Pieced out. I really like that set. And it's 186-5567. And then I found some adhesive. And I don't have any one eighth inch thick adhesive. In fact, I don't think I've seen any. So I picked up some because a lot of times a quarter of an inch is a little thick. And this is by Home Hobby by 3L. Um, permanent double sided tape. And it's an eighth of an inch thick. And the number on that is 1918776. And then I also picked up, by Home Hobby, I picked up their one quarter inch as well. And both of those are 65.62 feet. Yeah, 65.62 feet. And the quarter inch, the number on the quarter inch is 1918775. So, but that is just the thinnest. I had never seen the 1 8 inch. I was like, oh, that's so tiny. So, um, like I said, my husband was with me and we've been playing with that new Cricut a little. And he wanted to pick up some more vinyl. So we picked up some red vinyl and some more black the red is by American Crafts and then some black by American Crafts and then some more blue I believe and then we picked up three rolls of transfer paper. So, and then I've been wanting to work on my writing some, and he saw this, and he decided that this would look pretty on my desk, and would help me along on my, uh, might inspire me to work more on my handwriting skills so he picked this up for me isn't that pretty oh that was a very thoughtful present 
So I guess I'm going to have to work on my uh, handwriting a little bit. I used to do calligraphy in high school, but it's been a long time ago. So I guess I'm going to have to work on my handwriting some. But if nothing else, it'll look gorgeous sitting on my desk. And then, while he was while he was finding his egg noodles, I've been wanting to try these. And at the grocery store, they were so expensive. They're Mrs. Finster's Cookie Thins, and they are the chocolate chip thin cookies. There are no artificial ingredients, peanut allergen friendly, no corn syrup, and no GMOs. So, and they're the chocolate chip ones, and they're four ounces. So, they look pretty good, so I'm hoping they taste pretty good. There's, uh, for every five cookies, it's 130 calories. And it says no corn syrup. So, doesn't sound bad. So we'll give them a shot. So, you guys will have to let me know in the comments below what you thought about what I picked up. If there was anything you liked, anything you didn't like. If you have any comments about anything you'd like to see on the channel, please let me know. And again, thank you for all of my current subscribers. And if you're not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button below. If you're new to the channel, welcome and we're happy to have you as part of the family. So, thanks again and I will see you guys later. Bye!